Hello, once again, welcome to my visa hour with you. Today, we have a very special guest because this person, I've known this person way back about 15 years ago. In fact, we met each other in Vancouver. Gary, you remember? <laughs> we met each other in Vancouver. She treated me to a seafood pasta nearby a bay side in Vancouver. And I still remember her to be very lovely, very young looking as she is now. You never had grown old. You're still beautiful and young looking as you are, Carrie. Okay, aside from meeting her, before I met her personally, she has been with English with Mary Moore, studying conversational English, studying IELTS, which she used for, um, you know, for her for her sojourn, for her life in Canada. Primarily, when I met her, she was in Taiwan and she was working as a as an HR manager, if I'm not mistaken. It was a long time ago, though. So then, um, she said she 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 would like to learn um, technical English, business English, day to day English, and all sorts of English because she was planning to migrate to Canada. And for this reason, she's so generous to be sharing with all of you, all of us, what she did in order for her to have migrated to Canada. Uh, um, then after her migration, what papers did she submit and the processes that she went through for her to be able to get her citizens, her Canadian citizenship and how and how and why. Okay. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you Carrie Chen. She's now in Vancouver with her family. Carrie Chen, is there something that you would like to tell our audience about you? Okay. Thank you, Mary. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, whoever is online. This is a global village. Mm. Hi, uh, thanks so much for your time watching. And uh, thanks, uh, Mary, for giving me the chance to introduce uh, my life. And first of all, I would like to say big thanks to Mary because of the English with Mary Moore that has changed my life. So I was able to immigrant, uh, get the uh, immigrant Im immigration visa to uh, Canada and landed here with my family and right now uh, I got a very good job for uh, one, uh, when I started here and it's been already uh, 13, 14 years, more than a decade. And all my family is here uh, living happily with a very decent job and uh, wonderful life here. So I would like to uh, give this credit back to Mary uh, without your teaching English, I don't think uh, that uh, would help us to have such a smooth sailing, living and working in Canada. So thank you, Mary, so much. Well, I thank you too for trusting our institute and for trusting your um, your English coach, who is one of the pioneers at English with Mary Moore. She is um, and. Um, she's teacher Anne. I call her teacher Anne. <laughs> okay. Um, well, yeah. So when when I interviewed you, I still remember that day when I interviewed you online. You said you want to learn English because you want to go to Canada. Um, how long? Because after that, you moved to another um, English coach. So I wasn't able to monitor. Um, I just learned from your teacher that you're already in Canada. And so when I had my trip to Canada, I contacted you and thanks God we met. And uh, yeah, you're still as beautiful and as radiant as you used to um, about 10 years ago. We met in Vancouver about 10 years ago. Okay, so um, were you invited by this company or did you apply online? Um, what brought you to Canada? Uh, thank you, Mary. So first of all, um, I had a dream. I would like to move to the develop the country to um, experience the life over there. I came from Taiwan. I live in Taiwan, which is very close to uh, a lot of uh, viewers. Um, so I grew up in Taiwan, had my education in Taiwan and worked in Taiwan for more than 30 years. So I had a dream. I thought if I can move to other countries, 
uh, maybe my life will be very different. So uh, that's why I started applying uh, the um, uh, this so-called uh, skilled worker, skilled worker um, uh, immigrant uh, program back to the old days that was uh, probably 15 years ago. I started the application um, back to 2005 and I got my permission uh, or so-called uh, the, the uh, immigration of permanent resident paper in 2008. I spent about uh, three years getting that paper. And uh, okay, that's, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. So how, you know, from Taiwan to Canada, yeah, um, was it a direct hiring? Like a company wanted you to work for them and did they arrange the papers for you? I mean, you know, let's start from your 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 soldier or your journey <laughs> from Taiwan to Canada because there are a lot of viewers right now would like to go to Canada as well. So Welcome. how how did you contact um an agency? Did you do it by yourself or uh, was it a direct hiring or did, did you apply directly to a certain company? How did you get started um, yourself from <laughs> Taiwan to Canada first okay very because good question. a lot of people would like to know yeah yeah thank you Mary very good question mm. and mm. actually the good news uh nowadays there are more than 80 different uh, ways that you can immigrate to Canada the Canadian government is opening the door to the globe to welcome all you guys, uh, whoever wanted and uh, have uh, the professional skills or professional trade, I'm gonna introduce a little bit further. So basically, uh -huh. based on what we know today, uh -huh. there are mm -hmm. more than 80, 80, 80 ways that eight you can ways get to migrate to immigrant Canada. to oh, Canada. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'll narrow it down to to my case because um, everyone may pick or choose different ways that works better for them. For mm -hmm. example, some programs nowadays, because uh, Canadian governments have been working really hard trying to catch up with the demand. So the program has been changing uh, from time to time. So I'm going to mm -hmm. um, share with you guys the latest program. And uh, if you find anything promising and then you fit into that category, uh, based on the statistics, uh, some of the programs you can get into Canada with the lending permission or the permanent uh, resident paper in six months. So, uh, compared to my you, case, I you, you you get you 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 get a permanent rep PR. You call it PR, right? In six months, uh, wow. we call it uh, the permission for lending, lending as a permanent re resident. You you wow. are eligible to lend in Canada to get your PR. Yes, permanent resident. Yes. Oh, so this okay. is a paper. So that's, <laughs> it's 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 a oh so it's a permission. It's 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 it's, it's easier now than before, right? Uh, yes, yes. Mm. Compared to old days, uh, it's much mm. easier now. And back uh -huh. to the old days, uh, can imagine that was like seventeen years ago. My uh -huh. English is not to this level yet, was not to this uh -huh. level yet because I've been trained, uh, I've been training. I, I got the training from Mary Moore since 2008. So I still have the uh, weekly class with in <laughs> Mary Moore, English with uh -huh. Mary Moore today. Uh -huh. So it's been already more than 12 years, 13, 14 years. 14 yeah, years, oh my God, I can't so, so I got my English to this level. But back to the <coughs> old days, can you imagine? Mm. I don't even can speak a very fluent sentence, right? So I have to mm. work with the immigrant immigration agency in order to start my um, paper submission and application in English. So that's my story in the old days but for those of you if you are watching if you're uh, good at in English actually um, you can uh, help yourself to start application online you don't necessarily need to work with an agent you mm. don't as long as yeah. you know uh, which link uh, to start submit your profiles actually mm. uh, some of my friends um, they're very good in the English so they got the mm. permission 
uh, went through the application by themselves. They don't need to work mm -hmm. with the agent at all. So this is uh, just mm -hmm. uh, so subscribe and enroll with English with Mary Moore. That will help mm -hmm. you to get <laughs> through you this faster. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, so can they, can they, uh, because I know, you know, did you start with, yeah, back to my question. Were you invited by a company? How did you apply? Were you invited by a company? Um, no, no. So back yeah, to the no. old days, uh, I, I did not get any job or uh, got the invitation by any companies. So uh -huh. I have to uh, start on my own. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, because, did you go there as a tourist? Um, how, how did you get to Canada from Taiwan? Um, the first time I visited Canada was so when I was in my 20s. And uh, I visited Canada as a tour tourist with mm -hmm. my friends. And I was amazed by uh, the living quality and uh, the government efficiency and the welfare and the friendly uh, people here. So I was really amazed uh, like uh, this country. So Canadians mm -hmm. are really friendly and the Can Canadian government um, fr frankly, from uh, what I've ever experienced, they are really responsible to take good care of people and they um, do their best to um, to consider uh, and um, uh, give the welfare to whoever uh, their citizens. So I uh -huh. that's the reason why I think uh, I'm so grateful being a Canadian now or uh, becoming a permanent uh, resident because uh, the citizens and the permanent residents, we have uh, same eligibility for all welfare, except the only difference is the voting right and uh, passport. So this is the only difference. But other than the voting election and uh, passport, you uh, being a permanent resident, you enjoy exactly seeing welfare, all the benefits, you can get as the citizens. So that's the reason why becoming a permanent resident is a blessing in Canada. But I but, 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 but I remember that you already took your own as a Canadian citizen. I think that's, I heard you. Yeah, right? that's uh, 2014. So after 2014, yeah. five years, I landed as a permanent resident. As a permanent resident. Okay. You said you, thank you so much. Um, it is so you're so kind to have prepared a slide, um, yes. a slide share to our audience um, for them to see, um, and uh, you know it's like a um, a guidepost for them as to how they'd be able to apply for a Canadian work visa and how will they land into Canadian citizenship if. They're already there, just like Carrie Chan. Okay, so Carrie, like what Carrie said, um, she, yeah, yeah, Im immigrant to Canada by Carrie Chan. Thank you so much. Uh, we will also, we will also be putting this in a Mailchimp down below, um, in this channel. So you can click on that and review this, or you can email me for more information. Thank you so much for watching. So keep on watching because. Uh, Carrie has a lot more to share with us and you'll learn a lot and it will make your immigration process easier if you will learn from someone like Carrie who's not doing this for money and we're not doing this for money of course we're doing this just to help you we're not an agency we're here just to help you because you know agency nowadays can be very expensive so this one is a guide for free okay so back to carrie thank you mary so thanks to mary so uh, uh you guys are gonna get the information as professional as uh, agencies whereas mm -hmm. we're not uh uh doing this for money this is uh, for your benefit and mm -hmm. i wish you have a wonderful future wherever you are or wherever yeah, like you want to go yeah yeah <laughs> just for you okay um, so I'm going to uh, answer a few questions here. So uh, uh, related to the working visa, actually getting a working visa is also one of the good channels uh, you can get immigrated and uh, that could be faster. So in my case uh, where I uh, I worked in a company, the, this is a high tech IT company. This company 
status offer a uh, permanent uh, uh, residence or a uh, working visa to global employees. So if you would like to learn more, <laughs> Let us know. Yeah, so mm. with the working visa, you will be able to move to Canada faster. And we have professional teams uh, helping you to get through all the papers, uh, documents. Uh, so you, it will be easier for you. So this is uh, the, first, uh, the first benefit. So to me, because I did not go through that route, so uh, I did not apply a working visa. Okay, so um, the next question is the permanent resident. So I went through the permanent resident program. So I'm gonna share with you more with that. Um, so right now, uh, if you go to the website, uh, you're gonna see that Canadian government, uh, actually they have a, a lot of options. And here I'm just uh, sharing with you some of them that I think uh, for the qualification like us, we're uh, working professionals and that would be probably easier for you guys to understand which one to go. So the first one is, uh, as you can see from the screen, um, we call it Express entry, you can search Google online, Canada Express entry, you're going to find this information. And I do believe because the Canadian governments, they are opening the door, welcoming, embracing the skilled workers and the skilled uh, trade uh, professionals. So uh, if you are professional, like uh, I used to work in uh, IT uh, as a project manager. So if you're a professional, you have certain special traits, uh, like you're a cook, you are uh, like a plumber or a carpenter, you have your specialties. Welcome to look into this. So uh, Canadian government's really welcoming you guys to apply for that. And uh, the third um, category in the express entry is so-called Canadian is experience class that means that if you're able to have a full-time working experience in Canada for any reason for example like the case we mentioned my co-workers they are being invited by my company to move here to uh, perform so in that case they are able to have certain Canadian local experience and then you will be able to apply to this Canadian experience class and uh, all the three um, categories uh, are belonging to the express entry. That means this could be very fast to get the permanent resident uh, 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 permission as fast as in six months. If you go online, you will see that uh, <laughs> statistics. So uh, in 2021 last year, actually can Canadian government uh, approved more than 400,000 permanent residents landed in Canada, and this number is still increasing. So um, so we're targeting, the Canadian government is targeting to have a little bit uh, growth with um, 411,000 permanent residents approved to landing in this year, 2022. So just so you know, so we're opening the door to the broad uh, um, uh, viewers, uh, if you're interested in and other uh, categories for to get uh, the permanent residence of uh, some of the very popular uh, programs are provincial nominee program. That being said, that uh, you can go into that province to look into their program. Or if you're able uh, to get sponsorship from your spouse or a common law partner, uh, that means that you get married with some Canadians. And that's also the other route, but uh, basically um, a different qualification will have a different priorities on selecting this uh, different uh, uh, categories. Any questions? So these are basic uh, categories that you can consider which category you would like to further um, deep dive or investigate. Okay. Right, uh, yeah. Okay. So, and this is just give you an idea for, uh, we mentioned about the provincial. So these are the provinces and or ter territories uh, in Canada. As you can see um, from the uh, 400,000 landed permanent residents in year 2021, you can see where they go 
Okay, so and uh, you can pick uh, which area from east coast to west coast and to see which one you like uh, better. Uh, they are all very beautiful and very different. So uh, pick a place and then pro probably you can find your own place. And then uh, also look into the program um, that the province uh, announced or, or published and maybe you will be able to fit into it. Okay, um, um, just for clarification, can we go back to the chart? Yes. Okay, so you mean that um, where where do they get um, the publications from each province as to um, if, 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 if the provinces are open for migrants? Yes, we do have federal and the provincial programs. Oh, so, federal and provincial um, programs. Canada okay. is a a federal company, uh, sorry, federal uh -huh. country consists uh -huh. of uh, like uh, multiple provincial uh -huh. province yeah. or provinces. Uh -huh. and, uh, and it's huge. We're huge. Yeah, it's a yeah. huge. Canada uh -huh. is the second largest uh, territory on earth next uh -huh. to the Russia. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. So yeah. it's a huge uh -huh. territory. So we do have federal. So for example, like express entry, these are are managed by the federal level, federal government, mm -hmm. whereas we do have um, provincial, provincial programs. Yeah, okay. yeah, so the provincial uh -huh. government, they can release or public their uh, programs uh, to attract uh, foreign uh, immigrants for their-, All right. for, for their So needs. Canada is attracting, they're not repelling immigrants, they're attracting, they're very- We open, are welcoming, right? yeah, we, yeah, we open their arms uh -uh. and to welcome uh, yeah. the global villages. Yeah, and the Canadians right. are really friend friendly. And very friendly, very, yes. very friendly. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> friendly. Yeah, okay, yes. I guess Mary has been here, so you can feel. <laughs> yeah, very, very warm people, other... there's no discrimination, right? No, yeah. no, we no, are against there's no discrimination. Yeah, we are against the discrimination. So yeah. and uh, we um we advocate the uh, the policy of equality. So gender equality, race equality, mm. a lot of equalities. Yeah. So mm. so I guess uh, this is a place uh, where we uh if you like a peaceful life, uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. you know it. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Okay, great. All right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. No new found land in Labrador 2000 in 2021, right? And uh, yeah. they, yeah. And then Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec, 50. Oh, Quebec, there's a lot. Ontario, 190. Ontario, is uh, Ontario, this is where um Toronto is, right? Yes, Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This Thank is Toronto is. Yeah, Manitoba. Uh British Columbia, this is where Vancouver is, this right? Is where Vancouver is. Yeah. Yes, you've been yeah. here. And yeah, like yeah, you've been here in Ontario too. Um, so like yeah, these two big cities have um greater number of immigrants yeah all right thank you so much for this now let's go to the next okay no problem. so thanks yeah, for thank you yeah checking out mm. <laughs> pick a country mm. a pick, pick a right, let's province go to the where next you page. want to go yeah pick a province where you want to go i yeah. i really like to well i i like british columbia much better <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you i like okay. british columbia too but all the other provinces mm -hmm. are very beautiful so yeah, always it good. actually depends on what yeah. it depends on your taste right okay yep. yeah. yeah all right all right <laughs> uh, so the next page uh, is the comparison uh, of the three programs we mentioned earlier regarding the express entry. Uh, different uh, categories or different programs will require different qualification eligibility. For example, your language skill, your working experience, your uh, um, did you get any job offer or uh, mm -hmm. your education level? So pick the one that uh, give you the best scores because uh, mm -hmm. you will be evaluated with mm -hmm. uh, the scores. So uh, how that work is? So um, right. uh, excuse me. So if you're if they are if they will apply for working visa or skilled workers visa, then they they need to be evaluated based on a score basis. 
Uh, well, um, um, yes and no. So basically, uh, -huh. uh what okay. we're uh, discussing here is the uh -huh. the category of the permanent resident, uh, which is uh -huh. so called express entry, express ah, entry. Okay, express so, entry. Okay, express entry. So, mm -hmm. uh, there are three different uh, programs under this category, express entry. Uh -huh. So that's uh because people have different working experience. Some of them, like me, I have never ever worked in Canada before. But for example, mm -hmm. like my coworkers, uh, for some reason they are able to get work visa first before mm -hmm. they apply mm -hmm. the permanent resident resident. resident. Okay. So people, mm -hmm. everyone has different um uh, experience situation, yeah, situation mm -hmm. qualification. Mm -hmm. So pick yeah, the yeah, one yeah. that fits most to you. And uh -huh. uh, the higher scores you get, uh, the the quicker you're gonna get the invitation and the permission. So that's mm -hmm. why uh, uh Canadian government uh, they really work so hard and so professional mm -hmm. to design different programs to uh fit uh different uh needs or the situation mm -hmm. for for each one. Yeah. Oh, so they're very kind. Canadian they're citizen very then is very kind. They're reaching out to. Ah, very considerate. Oh, okay. Yes. Hmm. So this is it for your information. And uh, if you would like to get this uh, slide deck, and all these information are from the Canadian Web uh, Immigrant uh, Agency website. So you can check it, check it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will be attaching this once again. There's going to be a URL down below. We will be um, attaching this to our website and you can even download this. If if if, if Gary will give us the permission, then uh, you'll be allowed to download. C can we yes. allow them to download this? All right, yeah, so course. you can download um, I, this. It's going to be a right. PDF file, PDF mm -hmm. file. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. with that, yeah, it'll be easier for yeah. everyone. Right, so you can download this. We will we will um, be putting a link down below where you can download this. All right, thank you so much, Carrie. No You're worries. So kind. Okay. All yes. right, how can you uh, get started? Okay, so you may mm -hmm. not know which category fits most for you. And actually, mm -hmm. Canadian uh, government or the immigration uh, agency will evaluate your profile after you submit so and uh, uh, categorize uh, which uh, class works or program works best for you. So they will evaluate uh -huh. your pro profile first of all. Uh -huh. So how can we get started? There are step uh -huh. one, two, three. Uh -huh. uh, actually, there are five steps. So this is a step one, two, mm -hmm. and three. So first one, you can find out if you are eligible to uh, enroll any of the programs like mentioned earlier. Uh, in Canada, there are right now more probably eighty ways uh, to get uh moved here, and you can mm -hmm. also um apply for international student visa or start up a uh, a company. But that is beyond what we're discussing today because that's totally different uh aspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, we're yeah. talking mm -hmm. about a professional like us. We have never ever got chance to work in Canada. How can we get started and move here and get an immigrant uh, permanent resident uh, permission yeah. paper? Okay, so you can uh, go online and there are uh, questionnaires uh, with a lot of questions. So you can fill in your uh, information and then there will be a uh, scoring for that for each uh, category. Actually, uh, there's a table. So uh, you can also pre-assess uh, to see whether you're gonna get a good scores. And uh, so um, the second step is what we mentioned earlier. So you are going to uh, uh, enter the pool using the comprehensive ranking system. This is so-called CRS. And this is a points-based system. So that's the reason what we mentioned about you have to assess your profile, your qualification. And um, this tool, this ranking system will rank you. For example, if you are ranked at uh, the top 500 and the Canadian government say, okay, uh, this year we're gonna invite the first uh, top 500. Ah, and then the oh, rank it, oh. 500, and then you are the last one. <laughs> to, to ah, okay, <laughs> okay, they're so kind. Oh, yeah, very kind. Um, oh. yeah. So, uh, and actually, Canadian government is really kind. Uh, so uh, there's a very kind, a, a, 
I, I can't remember a report said that the Canadian government invited uh, something like um mostly uh five thousand the rank it five thousand. Uh, that being said, that the last year almost everyone in that pool got invited. <laughs> so wow. the, what, that was the and case from, where from 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 what countries? From what countries? Uh, depends, depends, depends. depends. Uh -huh. So we have uh we do have a statistics that um. Uh, um, I probably don't have the, the information here, but you can find that um, in the website. So basically, uh, the top one country based on my memory is uh, India. The second one is China. The third one is Philippines, actually. And the fourth one is uh, like a France, European country, Italy. And the fifth one is actually United States. So it's very about Latin American countries. I met I met a lot of Hispanics like Venezuela, yes, yes, we do. Mexico. Um, yes, um, we do have Mexican. So basically, we have from more Honduras, than, from yeah, we have, Chile. We have we are a very variety. Uh, we have varieties. We have more than probably one hundred, more than one hundred countries immigrants uh, are coming to, to and, uh, Canada. So this, yeah, this from society Egypt, is from Africa, from multicultural. From, yeah, yeah, it's, very, it's a multicultural. very interesting country. Yeah, it's a very interesting country. Very, so we very, embrace very, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> we accommodate, we, we try to understand how to uh, get along with the different uh, culture. So it's a yeah. really uh, a country where we advocate for um, like embrace uh like uh, the beauty of uh multi uh cultural so uh yeah it's gonna be very interesting <laughs> to learn the the culture yeah. of uh, other countries yeah and then okay so now yeah thank you so you know so check your score and if 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 if, if they qualify they if they have to submit you know yes submit submit so this and your... then, yes and then after that um, they'll receive yeah, a notification, that, uh, right? They'll receive yes, a notification. The, the notification. step uh, four and five uh, will uh -huh. be, uh, yeah, uh, getting oh, by fill up. the plan. Wait, ex ex excuse me, is is this going to be, the, the filling out of uh, their profile is going to be through VFS Global, right? Because yes, it's uh, all online. Yeah, online, all online, VFS Global. So submit your profile here so they're gonna click on that so that they be able to apply all right okay thank yes. you so <laughs> no it goes worries. to bfs global right and then step five get the invitation so oh. uh, like i mentioned earlier because there's a, a comprehensive uh, ranking system so Ooh. after you submitted your profile and then remember to update your profile whenever uh, you have any uh, big changes for example you you graduated you got the phd you yeah. uh got a whatever job in canada so um whenever you uh keep updating your profile and the uh, canadian government will keep ranking so when the time oh, comes for example wow. you're ranked like a, the number 500 and the canadian uh -huh. go government would like to invite the, the first 500 and you'll get the invitation so you can apply ah, uh, wow. this uh, permission of the perm permanent resident this is well. A, this is you, like, this is a very helpful information to a lot of people because uh, there are a lot of people who are like afraid to apply to Canada, uh, because they might be treated differently. Because you know, like other first world countries are not really very friendly nowadays. But I'm so happy that Canada is still very friendly. This okay. is <laughs> very friendly and uh, <laughs> frankly fair to everyone wherever you are, which country or which um uh race uh so so those are not counted in the ranking system what if you go to the slide deck uh, or go online you will see that uh, the scores are basically highly related to um like uh your level of education your language proficiency and uh, if you have any work experience locally so that's uh has no relationship with your race mm -hmm. gender Mm. or uh, your color mm. or which country you can you come from yeah oh then you have a uh, human capital factor so okay yes. so summary of maximum points per factor for express entry candidates oh okay 
So yeah. comprehensive ranking, comprehensive ranking system. It's a very comprehensive ranking, system. comprehensive ranking oh. system. And it's a fair mm -hmm. system. So uh, if you uh, go into that uh, uh, website, you're going to see the oh. four score and uh, the, the four criteria that mm -hmm. uh, Canadian government uh, will give you points mm -hmm. for your language uh, proficiency. If you're level seven, of course, you get better points than the level mm -hmm. five for sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, and if you have higher education or um, like a longer uh, working experience mm -hmm. and also your age will be considered as well. So the earlier to apply, the better. <laughs> Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. The better. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, right. very helpful information. So age, Hopefully. age is also considered. Is uh, it like is the younger considered. the better? What um, is the well? Actually, what, what, there, there's uh, a range like that uh, they like most, of, which is uh, if I remember the correctly. Uh, I'm not sure if if I have uh, the detail information here. But uh, mm -hmm. you can go online. If I remember it uh, correctly, uh, the, the age between 20 to, I can't remember, 30 or 40 are the mm -hmm. with the highest points that uh, mm -hmm. the system will grant you. Uh, whereas that uh, <laughs> the older, uh, yeah, the yeah, older yeah. ones mm -hmm. will get less points. So they mm -hmm. would like to have uh, someone uh, ah, okay. like 20 so... <laughs> to 40, something like that. But don't worry, right. <laughs> come and say it with other, for example, uh, you have higher education or uh, you have like a, a, a better working experience. Capitalization so so for business, yeah. right? Or yeah, language. Okay. If you get uh, right. English proficiency uh, mm -hmm. after you got training from English with Mary Moore, you probably will get better scores. So <laughs> oh wow okay great yeah and then all right yeah, yeah. Canada is really very nice <laughs> yes. oh yes. yeah okay so education uh, there's no education yeah. requirement for the federal skilled trades program yeah like if yeah you want to improve your rank in the express there are two ways you can do this oh okay so if you go to school or you can have a educational credential Mm -hmm. so it depends so they offer you uh, multiple ways uh, to get your um, language uh, capability certified mm -hmm. so you can also go to their language test uh, for example like I, 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 I yell, IELTS yes. yeah. Yeah, IELTS or um, they do have their language uh, let me go back here so okay Canadian language ba benchmark so you can go to the system can Canadian uh, CLB. So they have uh, this standard and four abilities in writing, reading, listening, and speaking. So mm -hmm. uh, you can go through this test to get your um, whatever CLB, uh, mm -hmm. uh, your language proficiency certified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you you receive a certification, right? From uh, I guess so. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't yeah. get through that because you do, you don't you don't. I mean, do you go through? I mean, British uh, I Council. Through... I think British IELTS, Council, yes. right? Yeah. So for IELTS test, you go to a certain British Council, and then you take the test in that. And then you in, got the in, scorecard. And then you get a scorecard after a week. Is it? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. English skill is really very important. Yeah, um, English skill is know, very important. Yeah, very important, especially passing. But if you come from an English speaking country, I think um, IELTS will not be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I guess uh, that's a general introduction, and there are a lot of information here. Uh, including the documents so i listen the down I, I probably mm -hmm. won't go through the detail feel free uh -huh. to download documents online. yeah yeah all right uh, this one is for venezuelan passport holder but i think you know um it's really uniform right the, the 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 requirements the basic requirements are very similar from one country to another yeah exactly you know, like birth certificate employment record uh, police clearance, uh, what kind else? of um, uh, <laughs> educational credentials, educational credentials, <laughs> report card. Um, um, what what else? Of. Tax account. Um, 
birth certificate passport, of course, is very important. And then an, an, an alternative ID aside from your passport. Yes. Um, what else? Uh, um, if you yeah, are married, funds, your marriage medical exams, yeah, yeah medical, mm. yeah. So on, so right. Forth. So yeah, you, you you have to download this, and you can see everything there. And if you need some more cross references, um, um, these are actually linked. You know, the, the, these are like, um, um, uh, some of the details here are linked to, to to a more detailed information. So all you need to do is to just to click on that, and it it gives you a further information about a certain, um, datum, uh, that are, that is listed here. So. This is very comprehensive. Thank you. Great. Yeah, uh, no worries. So you can click okay. the link. Uh, if there's a link here. So click the link. You'll go to that website. Uh, All right. Okay. So this is this is from the website of Canada itself, right? From, yes, uh, this is the government the of Canada. Canada government. So wow. you can see all the information here. They published uh, and uh, it's very clear and uh, guided with step by step. Well, I'm so proud of you, Carrie. You know, I'm, I'm very proud of you because <laughs> one of the thrusts of English with Mary Moore is actually not, you know, we just don't want to teach English. We would like to um, embed other life values and skills to our to our friends, you know, our our clients become our friends and they're not yes. like they're like sisters to us already. And uh, we, um, I, I'm sure teacher Anne is very proud of you also because you have this heart to share and you're able to, you're able to impart your knowledge to the whole world. Um, so we are so thankful that you're able to imbibe some of the values um, that English with Mary Moore now win system at TVC and TV would like to invite to you know our friends um by the way um let me just inform you that um Anne is already our partner at twin system tvc and tv um she's already our nice. partner and she's, she's the one managing our website now and our yeah. i mean website for win system did she not tell you <laughs> yeah <laughs> congratulations you? i'm so proud mm. of uh, the teams you guys are and that we, amazing. we are very proud of you we are very proud and because we attracted um, clients like you who've got real good heart and because of them, we were able to propagate the goodness of English with Mary Moore, you know, to many different countries. So we're very proud of you. Uh, okay, so who can apply Canadian citizenship? Oh, this is very important because there must be a lot of people now asking, like, oh, am I qualified? Can I apply? All right, hey, folks, read this. Who can apply? <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, thank you, Mary. So we're so proud of you as well and all the viewers who are watching online. That means uh, uh, if you take the actions appropriately, mm -hmm. you're going to have a better future. Mm -hmm. Uh, sending mm -hmm. this goodness to the entire world. So mm -hmm. uh, Canadian citizenship, uh, so if you uh, are a permanent resident living in Canada for at least uh, 1,095 days, that being said that probably three out of the five years you lived here, of course you can go abroad and that's okay. And um, uh, if you have minimum days of living in Canada, in um uh, with uh, 1095 days uh, you can submit your uh, application and of course you mm. have to file your uh, tax return every year as a good uh, citizen or pre-citizen mm -hmm. a, a good a permanent resident is our obligation and uh, once you pass this citizenship uh, test there's going to be a test okay it's a test for uh, testing your knowledge about how much you know about canada for example, how many provinces, territories in Canada? Uh, <laughs> so you got to know, right? And uh, who is the uh, prime minister? Uh, so, so, so the basic information. Yeah, uh, as a citizen, you have to know, right? Ooh, so, ooh. and uh, also with the proven language, but if you're a permanent resident, you got 
go through the entire process, uh, your language skill supposedly is not the problem. So this is uh, the qualification that you can apply for uh, Canada, Canadian citizenship. Any questions? Ah, Clear and okay. easy, right? All right. Thank you so much. So, you know, so they can just click on that link and say, okay. Yes. Oh, so processing time is 26 months for citizenship. Yes. Yeah. If you're already right now. in Canada, if you're already inside Canada and if you are already and, and if you are already there and having these permanent residence. Um, um, for more than yeah, living in Canada for more for than 1,095 days. Uh -huh. Then you can, can already apply as a permanent, I mean, as, as a citizen and you underwent this, right? Okay, so yes. um, during your time, how many months did it take you to receive uh, your citizenship? Similar, similar process. So it took me probably about two years after I submitted the application until uh, I got the um, invitation to take the oath <laughs> so ah, kind of like two, all right. two years so, so here it's also like two years right it's the yeah. same same oh, okay. yeah mm -hmm. similar mm -hmm. so it's better time <laughs> but don't worry you can mm -hmm. still travel you have the same eligibility to go mm -hmm. um everywhere except you just don't have the voting or or you haven't uh got uh chance to apply a Canadian passport, but you can still hold your uh, original uh, citizenship uh, from your original country with the passport granted. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Right. So, and then you have to prepare for your, and you did this, right? You went through all this. <laughs> yes, I went through okay. this you test prepared and took the, the oath. You know. Yeah, and then you prepared the test interview and then you took the oath, yes. All right. So if you've any got questions? any, if you've got questions um, for 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 us, feel free to write your questions down below, and we will get back to you right away. Or you can email me at marymore two thousand seven at gmail .com. Thank you so much, Carrie, for um, preparing these slides for us, and I'm sure this is going to be a blessing to everyone who'd like to migrate to Canada. And I tell you, Canada is a wonderful place. I been there with Carrie. <laughs> and it was yes, a, I like Canada yeah. too. Yeah, thank you for yes. visiting us. Yeah, and um, well, I love Vancouver, but um, I think I had a business um, in Toronto at that time. So I I stayed in Toronto um, for about a month and then I went back. Um, I went back to the US and then went to Mexico. And, you know, I, uh, but, you um, during that time, I think the best experience I had was, you know, when I was with you, of course. Um, <laughs> when thank I was you with so much. you. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy that you're able to share this um, to everyone. And I'm sure I'm, I'm going to share this to our page also at um, Facebook. We still have well, like 4,000, 5,000 in our groups there. So I'm sure that they will benefit from this one. So are there some parting words or more advice you would like to give to our viewers, especially those viewers who are planning to apply to migrate to Canada? Thank you so much, Mary. Uh, thank you so much for giving me the chance to share the information with anyone. Uh, the key successful factor I would like to share with everyone to get uh, the, uh, the entire process as smooth and as fast as you wish is if you uh, have a generous, virtuous heart, you do all the good good deeds, just like uh, what Mary uh, is uh, promoting. So with uh, good deeds, you accumulated your merits. And the more merits or the good deeds you do, the higher chance you'll get the blessing. And uh, the path of your immigration will get smoother and smoother. And probably you're going to get a blessing beyond your imagination, which I have already experienced. That's so amazing. So thank you so much. That's my uh, sharing uh, of this uh, wonderful experiences. And thank you for uh, watching and giving me the chance to share with you this life story. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I think what, um, what, um, Carrie was saying is that, you know, the, the principle of sowing and reaping, 
you know, what you sow is what you reap. If you exactly. sow goodness, if you sow goodness, you vibrate love, you give love, you share, you make you, you, you make people feel good about themselves, not necessarily just giving them money, but just, you know, uh, uplifting people, encouraging people. Um, the more you give goodness, the more you receive goodness. And, 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 and this is precisely what the spiritual reality is all about. You know, exactly. um, in other words, you call it karmic effect. What you sow exactly. is what you reap. What yes. you reap is what you sow. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Right. Thank you. So yeah. we learn English uh, idioms here. What you reap or what you sow. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, be yeah. grateful to everything. Be grateful to um everyone, and then you're gonna see your life is being transformed amazingly, including immigration. Yes, <laughs> including immigration. You can manifest. You can yes. manifest. I think you know what, Gary. Um, <laughs> when we met, we were not, we were not on this plane when we met, right? Yeah. And then I don't, I don't know what happened to your journey, um. Well, something happened to my journey that I tripped upon um, these kind of teachings and I enrolled at Joe Vitale and I started to read The Secret and I started to enrich myself more with Joe Dispenza and I met my partner who's into this kind of stuff also and who's got really phenomenal references for his book and which you bought, thank you. <laughs> I hope you've read this, uh, read that. And you sent me a book too, right? Thank you so much for that. And um, I, I'm, 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 I'm reading that right now because I'm on a vacation. So it's been enriching my life. I think, you know what? We should, we should also um, put up an, um, you know, an, another, another podcast on how to manifest your life the life you exactly <laughs> and that exactly. includes a visa right that, that includes a visa includes visa and um the wishes you want in your can life can we do that can we do that um yes uh, next time yeah, next, next month time. so we can share next with month. you guys next uh, month like the super life uh, secret codes and how to leverage the energy management uh to transform your life and w uh, would you be very happy to do that too I mean, of course, you? of course. All right. You, um, All right. Uh, if we have the chance, of course. Right. Okay. Can we arrange for another interview? That's going yes. to be on another channel, a TVC TV. Uh, <laughs> but this this one is going to be for English with Mary Moore Win System, still under the umbrella of TVC TV. All right. Fantastic. But, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Um, um, I really like to bounce back the blessings to you for the greatness and the goodness of, you know, our almighty God, the universe for bringing us together. I think it's not just for, you know, learning English and teaching English, but this is more than that. And I think we've got, the two of us um, have got a mission, um, you know, something more than just language teaching and learning but we can go beyond it and maybe share what we are experiencing right now due to this new philosophy or spiritual philosophy that we had learned. This has nothing to do with religion. We're not against any religious beliefs. We are friendly with all the religious beliefs. And this is like a universal truth. Yes. And we can all human beings, regardless of religion, regardless of age, can embrace this kind of um, philosophy, spiritual philosophy that can better their lives. Totally, yes, definitely. <laughs> Is Love this the reason that. why you're not getting old? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Just like the balloon, if you have energy yeah. and the blessings from the universe, uh, it's gonna be a mm. beautiful balloon, right? Like a full and shy balloon. Uh, but without the energy, the balloon is just a piece of plastic. So I guess yeah. uh, energy really matters. And the key to get the energy is to gratitude to be uh, grateful to the universe, to everything, and share the love to everyone. That's uh, what I oh, learned. Thank you. <laughs> 
Great. Thank you. Let's really, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I think more than anything, more than the immigration and stuff like that. These are just those silver linings actually, but exactly. the, 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 the main thing here is I think we should be able to share um, about how we evolved into who we are now. <laughs> yeah, you look amazing too, Mary. I guess uh, you got a lot you. of blessings as well. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, send my regards to Daniel, uh, you. to your son as well, and uh, blessings to your family. Thank you, Mary. Blessing to you and a blessing to everyone and blessing to all the viewers and uh, the loved ones uh, uh, for everyone. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And uh, we, we spread out all the blessings to all of you who are watching us right now. And please don't forget to subscribe to Keep our channel. channel and like our video. Yep. Thank or you Or comment so down much. below. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie, thank you. Do you have a channel? Uh, no, I haven't uh, released any channel yet. <laughs> I'm but you fan, should start. So I follow. You should start. Yeah. yeah. All right. So thank you. And I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say see you once see again. See you next time. Next time. See you Bye. next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.